Okay, okay, we are back with some more Taylor Swift, a feature uh, with the National, the Alcott. Okay, dude. Okay, dude. Guys, make sure to make sure to drop some more Taylor suggestions or recommendations because I I'm looking through the comments and I don't see that many. I don't see that many, and I'm like, I want some more. <laughs> Anyways, let's check it out, man. Let's say the fiftieth. Twisted and threads to meet you at the Alcott. What is that? I go to the corner in the back where you'd always be. There you are, sitting as usual with your golden notebook. Writing something about hmm. someone. To be me. Mm, is the Alcott like a pub? I don't think they're British. I don't know why I said a pub. Oh, it's a hotel bar. I was kind of rightish. Kind of rightish. Kind of. The Alcott, yes, it has imagining a scene, a contained moment in narrative between two people, someone meeting someone at a place they used to hang out, or maybe the other person wasn't expecting them but knew they'd be there. It's just two people that maybe have a chance to reconnect and maybe don't. And maybe they don't. Interesting. Damn, that uncertainty. Okay. About someone who used to be me. Aaron Dessner on. Oh yeah. Is the first thing I do. I tell you my problems. Mm. You tell me the truth. Hmm. It's the last thing you wanted. Hmm. It's the first thing I do. I tell you that I think I'm falling back in love with you. Damn. I sit there silently waiting for you. Ah, damn. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> nah, nah. Nah, stop it. Stop it. I tell you my problems, you tell me the truth. It's only in italics because it's only the um, Matt singing there, I think. But, see, I'm just a trust issue type of guy. I got trust issues, man. You tell me the truth. Is that really the truth? Is that really the truth, though? Dude. I sit there silently waiting for you to look up. I see you That's nice. You see it's me. I had to do something to break into your golden thinking. That's nice. Still believe it's the last thing you want. It's the first thing you do. Give me some tips to forget you. You tell me your problems. And I tell you the truth. Could it be easy this one? It's the last thing you want. It's mine is a land. Interesting, dude. Interesting. I'm loving her background vocals. It's kind of reminding me of. Does Taylor have her own part? I don't think she does. It's kind of reminding me of uh, Snow on the Beach, where Lana didn't have, you know, a super big part. <laughs> at first at first but it is really nice hearing those like ah and hearing this now is nice too dude the mind is a landmine didn't she say that before in another song because i instantly a reference to exile that's what i was thinking was that the one dude there, there's like three pair there's like four paragraphs 
can you guys just these genius people please keep it simple man i this isn't this isn't an essay it isn't an essay it's just a quick brief description Huh? Like I always do? This sounds like, like Midnight's Taylor. Is this old or is this new? 2023 April. That was nice. But at the same time, it feels like they shouldn't fall back in love, right? Cause like, I'll ruin it all over. When I hear that, I'm assuming it means like ruin it all over again, right? Because like they said at the start, it's, it's someone they've recognized and been with and they went their own ways and they're meeting again, you know, and if they get back together, it's up for debate whether it happens or not. You know, it could go either way. Why did she say read my sentence out loud? What does that mean? Oh, the golden book. Back to the golden book. You, okay, wait, wait. She is hiding what she wrote about the speaker, keeping to herself what she thinks about him, and thus keeping her distance. So she's telling the truth when she reads it out loud. Interesting. Sentence can also refer to a punishment one receives at a trial. Swift is asking him what her punishment is for always believing that he loves her. Reading my sentence out loud. That's such a stretch, dude. You Stop. Stop, dude. What? It's like the Nicki Minaj translators, dude. Whenever someone like inserts their own like subjective thing and it's kind of far fetched reading. What does this have to do with a trial? Stop. I don't like that. I, I wish like artists had someone on their team to use this website and make sure everything's what the artist wants because like sometimes it's just straight up just silly dude that was a really nice song i really like their voices together as well it was it was really calming it, it feels soothing a little bit i think i'm falling back in love with you i don't know man i don't know man I was inspired by his wife. Oh, uh, concept and wrote lyrics to the piano led track. Taylor was invited by Aaron to contribute and she responded with lyrics to fit a die. It was really good. It was really good. It did kind of, like I said, remind me of like, uh, Vana's feature on snow on the beach initially. Coney Island and the Alcott timeless songs. Me thinks <laughs> exile vibes. Okay. I love this duo. Can't wait. Wait, what? But you better write. Okay, chill. Uh, backing vocal era. <laughs> yeah, their vocals do. They match really well. I like it. So many golden references. Taylor, Taylor. The, the flow and the vocals are immaculate. True. Whenever I think of flow, I always think of rap flow. But it is like a nice soothing kind of flow. Like a, like a river just slowly going down. And like swishing around. I like it, man. It's soothing, like I said. I could see myself crying to this. <laughs> I could see myself crying to this. It's it's really nice. I like it. Keep it elite, man. Keep. What will I rate this? First two pages of Frankenstein. Interesting. Uh, I'll give this. I really like it, man. It was nice. I kind of wish she had her own verse, but I, it actually, you know what? I don't know. 
I don't know, because the the story of the song she provided really well and like supplemented what was already there, right? Like it was really well done. Uh, what will I rate this? I'll go like an I'll go like an eight, eight nine, eight nine, eight nine. I'll put it in my playlist. I'll listen to it some more. I think it might go up. I think it might break into the nines. But right now, dude, it's a solid eight nine. I like it. Really nice song. 